A while back I made a video called The First Rule of Being a Car Guy. And in that video, I emphasized the rule, don't tell other people that their car is ugly. Now what I meant by that is, you're entitled to your opinion, sure. But you can't tell the owner of a car that their car is ugly or that they're doing something wrong or you would have done this or that differently because it isn't your place. That's their car and their build and even though you have an opinion which you're entitled to, you really shouldn't down on them and down on their build just because you don't agree with every step that they've taken. Today I'm back with the second rule of being a car guy and I'm going to expand on that first rule and make it a broad statement that can apply to the car scene directly but also every other aspect of your life. You've heard this statement a lot, but my second rule of being a car guy is don't be a bully. Now my goal for Monica, my FRS behind me, was to learn everything and anything that I can. Right now, I truly know nothing about cars. I mean, sure, I can tell you the facts. The car behind me is a four-cylinder, 200 horsepower, 151 foot-pounds of torque. All the numbers you know and you can find them online. Stuff that I don't know is the hands-on experience. For example, changing the oil on a car, installing an intake or headers or uh, anything along those lines that really is something that you have to experience to learn. That's the point of the car behind me. I want to be able to take advantage of this opportunity and learn how to install parts, learn how to work on cars, and also I want to learn how to race. I want to learn how to follow the driving line, where to brake, where to turn in, all that stuff. I want to learn as much as I can about the car scene because it's something that I'm truly passionate about. Now when I explained that in my video revealing this car, I got a lot of positive feedback. I got a lot of people saying, congratulations for the car, good luck, make sure that you try your best and, and go at your dreams and stuff like that. And I'm really thankful for all of the positive feedback to the people who gave it to me. But with that positive feedback came the obligatory, 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 I guess, the necessary negative comments. And a lot of those followed along the lines with, you don't know anything about cars, so how can you call yourself a car guy? Why would you buy this car and do this build if you don't know anything about what you're doing? And last time I checked, nobody is born with the knowledge to be able to work on cars. Nobody is born and comes out of the womb and can immediately say, this is how you install a supercharger. Make sure that you do this and do this and never do that. Everybody has been in my shoes where they don't know anything. They're, they're at a blank slate of knowledge. And that isn't a bad thing because a blank slate is something that you can build on and that's what I'm trying to do. So how can you hate on somebody who doesn't know anything about cars when all their intentions are is to try and learn and try to develop their knowledge and try to build their skills? That ambition is something that should be, that should be promoted not only in the car scene but anywhere else. For example, say you like making videos. Maybe they aren't about cars but nonetheless you all start with no knowledge on how to make videos and you build from there. And if you have that passion for whatever you're doing, you need to pursue it and you need to build that knowledge because maybe you don't know anything at the start, but nobody does. Even Steven Spielberg started at no knowledge about film and built up to where he is. Just like every race car driver, they weren't born in the seat of an F1 car. They started somewhere. They had no idea what the racing line was and they, they developed their knowledge and they went from there. And that's what I'm trying to do. So back to the rule of being a car guy, don't be a bully. One thing that I see in the car scene a lot is people judge other people. Like I was saying for me being judged for not knowing a lot about cars, you just immediately get judged by people who think that they're superior for their knowledge. And yes, maybe you are superior because you have more knowledge, but that doesn't mean that you can judge people or criticize people. You should use your knowledge to help other people. For example, the next video that I'm going to post is going to be a walk around of this car telling you guys what my plans are and what I think I want to do. And all I want from you guys is constructive criticism. Don't do this. You should consider doing this. It'd be cheaper and more beneficial to do this. That's what I want. Because a lot of people out there have the knowledge that I don't have. And I want that knowledge so that I can know what I'm doing. So if you're in the car scene and you know more than another person about cars, don't judge them because they don't know what you know. Use your knowledge to help them. Tell them, oh, um, I know that you're considering installing the supercharger, but the thing is, that kit isn't as reliable as this kit, and also it's cheaper, so you should save your money and go with this kit. And the goal of this not bullying movement is to make the car scene a more accepting place, so that people don't feel 
threatened or nervous when they're considering like getting into cars. If they know that the car scene is something that's really accepting and everyone a family because they all share a passion for cars, then you, people will be more inclined to join the car scene and we'll have bigger car meets and more information and more cars, which is exactly what I want. I want to go to a car show and have it be bigger and better with more attendance. And if the car scene is an accepting place where you don't judge people, but instead you try to help people and we all come together as a family because of our passion for cars, the car scene's just gonna grow and it's gonna get bigger and better. So next time you go to a car show or you're reading a forum or you're watching a YouTube video, make sure that you don't leave hate comments. Make sure that, you, that you're that you only positive with what you say because that'll promote the spread of, of cars. This awesome, amazing thing that unifies everybody. So rule number two of being a car guy, don't be a bully. That's out of the car scene and that's in the car scene. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.